How's it going fans and friends? Today's video is a little bit different than the standard video. I know you guys always expect me to make tech videos, but not every video I do is always going to be about tech. And today is another one of those videos. There'll be no ads, no rollovers, no nothing like that. Just me talking to you guys. Now, today's video is going to be about a couple different things. It's going to be about music. You guys say I have the pain cylinder shirt on right here. And it's also going to be about a subject which I'm not sure if many of you are aware of, but some people who follow me on Facebook and stuff are aware of this. So we'll start off with this. Pain Cylinder. The next album has begun to be recorded. So for you guys who don't know out there, Pain Cylinder started out with me and Jonathan Morrison of TLD Today. But John really didn't like playing out in concert or the crowds and things like that, so we recruited Jesse Hunter to be our main guitar player. But now, me and John have started writing the next Pain Cylinder album. So people who like the album, put thumbs up because honestly, the next music and the guitar riffs that John's coming up with are pretty damn impressive. And just like most people's album, the second album is usually, you know, really good because, you know, you kind of learn from the first one, grow. It's been 10 years since we recorded that album. And those 10 years, we've all matured. John's gotten better at writing. I've gotten better at writing. My voice has even gotten better. So the next Pain Cylinder album is being done. We're going to try to release a mini EP here in 2021. And in 2022, we'll release the full album album. So get that off the table. Next up, probably a lot of you don't know this, but I've been suffering with depression for a long time. In fact, ever since a long time ago when I had breast cancer, chest cancer, whatever you want to call it, you know, they still call it a breastplate for men. So I guess it is technically breast cancer and all the chemicals that they injected in me, all the radio radioactive crap they stick in your body, that had an effect on me. You guys notice on a lot of my videos, I shake. That's from permanent nerve damage from when that happened. So that's why I shake a lot. Um, I thought I had Parkinson's disease for a while, but I got tested for Parkinson's and it's not that, it's just permanent nerve damage. But as far as the depression goes, it's been really, really bad, especially for the past three or four years. Many times I've thought of ending my life and that ending my life would be the absolute best thing in the world for everybody because I just felt like a burden on a lot of people. It's affected how many videos I can put out and things like that. But after trying all kinds of different drugs to clear it up, I mean, I've tried all kinds of stuff. I've tried Wellbutrin, I've tried Paxil, I've tried all these different ones with a bunch of different names and none of them have ever worked. And the reason I mentioned Paxil and Wellbutrin is because those two out of all of them were the, really the ones with the most extreme. When I took Paxil, I literally wanted to get on my roof and just jump off head first into the ground. And when I got on Wellbutrin, it felt like I was using some kind of speed or meth because I just could not sleep. And I was up for almost a week without sleep. But finally, finally, I've gotten a medication that has completely, utterly changed my life in every way. And this medicine is called Cymbalta. And I know some other people on Facebook, David, I know that you're out there in England and you suffer from this and you were gonna to talk to your doctor. If you guys are out there and you suffer with depression, don't be ashamed of it. There's no reason to be ashamed if you suffer with depression. There's nothing wrong with you. You're not a mutant. You're not a bad person. There's nothing like that going on. It's a chemical disorder in your body and that isn't your fault. So let's just start right there. So I've been taking Cymbalta now for about two months and everybody around me has noticed a difference in my life, especially myself. For the first time ever in my life, I feel happy. I wake up every day, I'm happy. I've started laughing more, I'm enjoying life, and it's made the biggest change ever that I've ever had in my entire life. I really didn't know what was really wrong with me, but I guess I guess the doctors call it a bipolar disorder because at one minute I'd feel like I'm Superman and I can do anything in the world, and then the next minute I'm feeling like it would be better off just to end my life and just stop living completely. It's been a horrible experience for me. Anybody else out there who experiences depression and knows what this is, you know what I'm talking about as well. It's honestly a terrible, terrible way to live your life. 
people don't really understand how bad it is to feel like you want to end your life. It's a really bad feeling. It's the worst feeling in the world. Even if you don't do it, just feeling that way and like the best solution for everybody for you to do that and then fighting against that is really, really painful and hard. And I've been living with this for a long time. It's caused problems between me and my friends um, because I overreacted to a lot of things. Every situation that I would deal with was like magnified under a magnifying glass, whether it be anger, love, hate, anything, any emotion that I felt was completely magnified. I wasn't even able to tell people in my family I loved them without completely breaking down and just crying and being completely upset. I was unable to even take a compliment. If somebody complimented me, I felt unworthy. I would just go away and start crying and feeling terrible about myself. But now that I'm on this Cymbalta stuff, my life is completely, utterly turned around. And if you would have asked me, you know, a couple of years ago, if just a pill would be able to do so much for a person, I would have just said, no, there's no way that that could ever happen because I've tried many other things that never worked. In fact, I really fought with my doctor about going on this, but how he kind of ringed me into it, I call it using a bait and a fish is reeling me in, is that actually Cymbalta works for diabetic pain as well. And if you're a diabetic out there and you're taking gabapentin, you should get off the gabapentin and try Cymbalta. It actually works much better for diabetic nerve pain than that ever, ever did for me. I tried gabapentin and I know other people out there have tried it and honestly, it didn't do jack diddly for me. They said it would help me sleep. They said it would help me with my diabetic pain. Yada, 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 yada. You know, just like someone speaking Yiddish to me and I was just like, what? Yeah, okay. It never worked for me. But I started taking this Cymbalta, honestly, under the guise that it was going to help me with my pain. And then as I went and I was talking to the other doctors that are doing things in my life, they were like, oh, well, you know, Cymbalta is also a drug for helping you with depression. And so I was like, oh, okay. So I sent a message to my doctor and I was just kind of like, well, what's up with this, man? You've got me on another mental drug. And he was just like, hey, trust me, try it. Tell me how it does with the pain. And so I started taking it. And I noticed literally a week later, that my depression was gone. And I mean, literally, for the first time in my life, my depression is completely, utterly gone. I'm actually amazed at what Cymbalta has done for me. Like I said, every day now, I wake up, I'm thrilled to be alive, I'm happy, I'm laughing, I'm really starting to enjoy life. Um, honestly, I would think that for the last few years, I've been the kind of person who is always like, the glass is half empty. Now it's totally changing me and I'm like, oh, the glass is half full. I've started to really appreciate the things in my life that before I really didn't appreciate that much. Like I'm really lucky to be a YouTuber. I'm lucky to be able to have great fans like you guys. I'm lucky that I have my two dogs, Buddy and Lady. I'm lucky that I have a roof over my head. I have food in my belly. Um, not as much food as I used to, as you guys can know, man, I've been losing a lot of weight. I've lost a lot of weight, 35 pounds in the last two and a half months, and I'm going to keep on trucking with this. Now, this actually all leads to something else. My foot, still in the cast, as you guys, well, you guys can kind of see if I move it over to the side here. My foot's in the cast, but no amputations of the leg whatsoever. That was actually a mishap that happened that probably should have never happened because they weren't going to amputate my leg. The thing was that they put in the notes that they were going to amputate my leg. It was basically like the solution was, hey, amputate, you know, it wasn't all my leg. It was basically, you know, up to about here. And then the doctor started telling me that people who get their leg cut off, you might find it's hard to believe, but people who actually lose their legs, 50% of those people die within five years, 50%. That's a huge number. So I was stressed as a mother fracker about this. But now that I've been sticking to this crazy diet and I, I'm not doing solely plants anymore. I know some people out there are gonna go, oh my God, oh my God. But I'm sorry, I just can't do it. I like bacon and eggs, I like chicken. I don't really do red meat or pork anymore. All I do is just chicken and bacon and eggs, which I know, I know bacon is still pork, but I'm not eating any other pork other than bacon. I know I'm kind of a 
<laughs> kind of a, you know, contradiction in terms there, I realize that, but I like bacon and eggs and there's no carbs in that. So I'm just basically doing absolutely no carbs. The only sugar that I'm eating is through coconut water. I have fallen in love with this thing called CO2 coconut water. I just absolutely love it. I've actually drove around the cities to all the different Kroger's and been buying it up at every place. They had a special like three for five bucks and I've been going in there and buying like if I could 20 of them and bringing them home and sticking them in my fridge. Unfortunately though, they're all out of that. <laughs> no more, there's no more CO2 coconut juice in any store that I can get to. I mean, I suppose I could, you know, drive to Nashville and go crazy and go look over there. But all of this has resulted in amazing things. Also, I'm taking a lot of vitamins now. I take a lot of vitamins. I take ashwagandha. I, um, I, I'm taking just a, just a, a ton, a ton of vitamins, magnesium, zinc, um, turmeric. I mean, all of these things. Uh, and when I went to the doctor last week, the doctor took off my stuff, my boot, the cast rather, because they remove the cast every week. Just to let you guys know every Friday I have to go to the doctor and they cut my cast off and change it. And when I went last Friday, the doctor came in and he was just like, whoa, what's going on here? This is almost healed. So my injury due to the diet, the cast, and having a much better doctor and this guy named Dr. Restus, he's a great doctor. Um, it's funny though, because uh, I had a doctor that's here in my town and all that guy did was keep cutting my foot open. And what's really funny is Dr. Restus' first name is like Walker, like Walker, Texas Ranger. So I call him the Walker, the Kentucky Ranger. But the good news is, though, is that my foot is almost healed. They said probably within two weeks, maybe three at the most, I'll be able to completely be out of the cast. I'll be able to wear my shoes and I'll be able to walk pretty much, you know, not perfectly normal, but as good as I was able to do before the injury. Now, if you guys want to know how I injured, injured my foot, I walked out just into my front yard to get the dogs and out on my driveway is a lot of rocks. And the rock literally went right through my shoe and through my foot. And when I pulled the rock out of the bottom of my shoe, it literally cut my thumb open. That's how sharp it was. So that's just crazy stuff. In California, there were no crazy sharp rocks like this. But now that I've come to understand it, they're all over Kentucky. Lots of sharp rocks. So I don't wear anything outside now unless it has a really super duper thick sole on it. That's just the way it is. And I'll also be getting new shoes. So to wrap things up, because I know you guys don't want to hear me dramble on forever, is good things are in the future. I've been taking a few days off from making videos, getting my head together for next month and preparing for the things that are coming in the future. I have more videos coming up, um, but this is it. Next Pain Cylinder album is on the way. Me and John have started writing it. Um, we've got a bunch of like, I'll just explain a little bit more to you guys. We've been using a lot of plugins from, from Universal Audio and now we've gone to completely, completely, I mean, this totally crazy outboard gear. So all the equipment that we're using to record the next Pain Cylinder album is really levels and levels and levels above what we did before. John's gotten better on guitar. I've gotten better at writing my lyrics and singing. So all of this is going to be happening. And Jesse Hunter, our original guitar player, I'm sure that he'll be a part of this and tracking as well. Not sure about the other members of Pain Cylinder, if they'll rejoin the band or not, but I will be getting the band back together and we'll be playing somewhere soon. So, also, my depression, completely, utterly gone, thanks to a medication called Cymbalta, which I never thought any pill could actually cure what was wrong with me, but it has. And then last but not least, yes, my foot is healing. It was like this for a year and a half with the Dr. Butcher. I won't even mention his name, so I don't want to get in any trouble, but um, his name is uh, actually is pretty funny, too, because his name starts with an E, too, <laughs> but it's not Dr. Estes. And all this guy did was every time he saw me, he cut my foot open. And my foot at one point was almost healed. And I went in there and he cut my foot so deep that that's why the injury that I had got really bad. A lot of people say I should sue the guy, but I'm not that type of person. I don't sue people. I work for my money. I like to work and earn everything that I do. I've always been that way. So I thank you guys for watching. I know this isn't a tech video, but I just felt that like there's been a lot of good news happening in my life lately. And I want to share with you guys, my wonderful and awesome audience. I love you guys. 
I appreciate all the great comments and the things that you do. Um, I know that my videos aren't as like, you know, crazy as some people. Like I prefer to really show the positive side of products. I've always been this way. I don't really like to beat products up. Um, and I'm not the expert on every type of hardware that there is. I know there's guys who have a specialized channel for TV boxes, a specialized channel for phones, a specialized channel for this. And all those guys who have these specialty channels that are just in that little niche, they probably do a little bit more intense job on reviewing some of the hardware. My background comes in a totally different direction as you guys know, which is testing video cards, CPUs, and all that stuff. And at this point, I honestly feel that a lot of the reviews that we've been doing lately have just been a waste of time because you can't even get the video cards that we're reviewing. So we're reviewing stuff. And even though you guys might go, hey, cool, that's I want that, you know, you can't even get your hands on it. I think this has been one of the worst years for PC reviewers and PC gamers. And that's a whole different video that we'll touch upon very soon. But for now, I thank you guys for watching. Peace out. We'll see you guys back here on the channel for more tech here on Tech and Tomorrow because I know that's what most of you guys are here for. So I love you and I'll see you later.